All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4, 3, 2, 1, Before the Fire. Here you go. Peace and grace, you guys. Okay, let me uh, let me start with, uh, y'all are going to be watching the, my next video on a different platform, and I'm going to put a link, or I will put, pin a comment on this video, but the comment won't be pinned for a couple hours because I'm doing this video just to give myself a place to put that. Uh, comment or location if if something happens in this video for some reason isn't there go to the last video always go to the last video and look at the pinned comment what I'm saying is if you ever you know are wondering like what's going on go to the last video I did and look right here at the top I will pin a comment I'll say I will say go to I'll just pin a comment right here like go here and then I will pin the comment right here watch and then I will pin it look okay so pin so when you go back to whatever video one video back here's the way I'll communicate with you I'll tell you where to go right here you see it so that's the way if if you're wondering if, where's the video or whatever just go to the last video and read the pinned comment, the one at the very top that I've left. If there's no audio for any reason, reboot your whole uh, computer because a lot of times on my videos, one way they discourage people is they don't let the, the audio work. Um, so if you come to one of my videos and, and you're like, wow, there's no audio, don't get discouraged. Just stop, slow down, reboot your computer, give it 10 minutes, come back at it that happens a lot to my videos it's one of the things they do it's like uh you know how you get shadow banned and those type things another way they do it is they'll make it just buffer i've seen all kinds of tactics used to suppress videos so anyway so here we go let's let's just get into this you ready let me show you uh the color at the end of this particular uh video uh by the way uh in the in the yoga class, that's called the down dog position. Anyway, yeah, right there, the down dog, right? And you can see the girl, the other person on the other side. It's called the down dog position in yoga. Um, what's interesting is at the end of this video, it ends and it's in blue. It's always blue. It's interesting because in this video, that's also about um, this right here. Let me show you how it. The color goes, uh, it's kind of fascinating. It's, it's red and blue. So if you took red and blue and you mix, you mix them together, would it be white? No, it would actually be purple. There you go, it turns to purple. Red and blue mixed together is purple. Um, let's say we had a Heineken commercial that showed an angel that this is the commercial I'm going to tell you what the Heineken commercial is about it's about a race of beans that went to a party got all dirtied up and then got thrown out of the party and then got judged because they went to the party that's what the Heineken commercial is about there's a woman in red come to me bang that she was arrayed in, in scarlet the woman arrayed in uh scarlet um Let's watch this commercial. At the end of the commercial, I want you to watch this and just because this is going to be so important that you understand this because the number six and nine, um, uh, the letter F is the number six and the number I is the number nine. And right here, it's interesting that these two letters are tied together. Uh, they're tied together and this is right here. Um, tying the six and the nine together you see what I mean it's kind of fascinating anyway so let's uh and like I said I'm just getting y'all ready y'all are gonna go watch the video that I'm doing right now on another platform okay okay <laughs> so anyway so here we go so here the guy is he gets kicked out of the party and the first thing you see is the 11 behind him and then you see the six because what's 116 if you turn it upside down? If you turn 116 upside down, the whole thing, what is it? 911. Well, 
You saw the 11 behind him, right? Well, what does he do now? Turns the 6 upside down, so it's 9-11. You get it? So he just got judged because the angel of the bottomless pit that got, that got his soul. That's what this is about. He lost his soul by going into the party to the angel of the bottomless pit. That's why they show you the 9-11, and he turns the 6 up down, upside down to the number 9. It's no different than the Ozzy Osbourne commercial, Patient Number 9. It shows the 6 and the 9 in verge, shows the demon and Ozzy come together, and the two becoming one. The two becoming one, pretty fascinating. And remember, Patient Number 9 with Ozzy, we're going to look into that in the, in the video that's on the other platform. But I want you to watch this angel come into a party, and what's really fascinating is when he rings the bell, you'll hear the guys on the the guy on the piano uh, playing a, a note. Did you know the name Cain? The name Cain means to strike a musical note. Yeah, it does. It means several things. It's part of the definition of the name Cain, I should say. Anyway, not the meaning of the name, but it's part of the definition. To strike a musical note, which is what happens in the beginning of this video. Okay, he's holding a champagne bottle. What happens when you pop the cork on the champagne bottle? It, it effervesces. Okay, here we go. He's going in. Here we go. Okay, so he just got thrown out of the party. They threw him out of the party. Let's watch this ad real quick. Okay, listen to what she says right here. You know that unwelcome guest everyone wishes would just leave already? Uh, yeah, you mean like the guy in the Heineken commercial? Totally. Wishes would just leave already? That's COVID-19. <laughs> And that's why I got the new updated booster, designed to help protect against recent Omicron variants. Got it? I love the blue band-aid. That's right in sync with some of the other commercials that you guys got going on because it ends in blue. Uh, yeah, because if you have one, if you have blue, did you know that scorpions have blue blood? And yeah, scorpions have blue blood. So, but if you have blue and then you have red, no, red is interesting. Red's mentioned in the Bible as Adam, Adam. It means to show blood in the face, red. So if you mix blue and red together, what do you get? Purple. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's watch the Adobe, Adobe, Wa Dober Wawa commercial. And again, I want to just make sure you guys understand that in the movie iRobot, in the movie iRobot, Detective Spooner, Will Smith right here. In iRobot, there it is right here. His badge number is 4084. And in the Bible, 4084 means I apprehend, catch, and arrest. Okay, there it is. 4084, Piazzo, to lay hold of, to take. I lay hold of, apprehend, catch, and arrest. Okay, and it's used in the Bible when they went to go arrest Jesus. And that's what Detective Spooner's badge number in a movie called iRobot is. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that's remotely possible that his badge number in a movie, being a detective, happens to mean I apprehend, catch, and arrest? Do you think it's possible that that's a coincidence? I would submit to you that the answer is definitely not. And then what about uh, in, I, in iRobot? In iRobot, they make sure that they show you it takes place in Chicago in 2035. See it right there, 2035. You know what 2035 means in the Bible? 2035 in the Bible, Strong's Hebrew, it means overthrow. It's interesting. Feminine overthrow. Destruction, ruin, takeover. What happens in the movie I, Robot? Well, I'll tell you what happens. It's uh, the robots take over. There's an insurrection. Isn't it weird that the number Chicago 2035 actually tells you exactly what happens in the movie I, Robot? Do you think that's possible? Well, I'm going to show you stuff that's so 
freaking impossible that no one's going to be able to argue with it because the Lord has taught me this language. He taught me how they communicate. And I'm going to tie it to some stuff like the stuff that you just saw. And it's going to blow your mind because it's so disturbing that you'll know the end of the world's here, guaranteed. You'll know why the end of the world's here, and you'll know some of the stuff that's going on with the six and the nine in these commercials, just like right here. Again, he gets kicked out of the he gets kicked out of the party. Let's see him get kicked out of the party real quick, because he went to her party. That's the party. That's where he ended up. And there's a woman in red. Okay, and she's saying, "Come on over here, baby." Okay, and he gets tossed out. So, 11-6, which is 9-11 upside down. Now you just got to turn that upside down, and you will clearly define who just judged you. 9-11, angel of the bottomless pit. Let's take a look at this one one more time. She's sharpening a sword. She. What's the implication of this? What's the inference? Guest, everyone wishes with just yeah, I do. I know about that unwelcome guest because here's an example of it right here. But go ahead and tell us all about that unwelcome guest. Six and nine. Uh, hang on one sec. You know that unwelcome guest everyone wishes would just leave already? Yep. That's COVID-19. You know... C is the letter three. Let me show you. Let me show you something really cool. C is the letter three. I'm going to show you Detective Spooner language, right? So I'm going to go to Revelation 9:11, like I did for that. Uh, you know, for like the uh, iRobot thing, I showed you 9:11. So let's go to Revelation 9:11, and they had a king over them. So that other race of beings has a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit, it says it right here, angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. See right there? See the the number three? See the number three? Abaddon, destroying angel. Or in Greek, got the name Apollyon. In, in Greek, the number 623, and it's Satan. So Abaddon right here, the number three is the angel of the bottomless pit. So... If I was to show you, let, let me just show you another word real quick. Let me write this. Watch this. Let's go ahead and re let's talk about what language this is. What is it saying right here? So what does it say? Origin, Latin. What's, what's the language they were using in the Catholic Church when they were singing to Lucifer, donning his own creation? They were using Latin, right? It's Ovid, right? Ovid. What does it mean? Sheep. So that's the pronunciation right there, but there is the word itself. So there's the word itself. See, there's the word itself. That's the word. Ovid, meaning sheep. Okay, so what's the number? Strong's, Strong's three. What's the number of Strong's three? Uh, right there. The number three is Angel of the Abyss. There it is. Angel of the Abyss. So, okay. So, if I assign A, B, C. So, Angel of the Abyss. A, B, C. Angel of the Abyss. Ovid. Sheep. Says it right here, Latin. The name right there means that. Okay, what about the number one nine in the Bible? So Strong's one nine in the Bible means that slaughter. Okay, so I just showed you absolutely three is angel of the abyss. See, destroying angel, angel of the abyss. See, Abaddon, angel of the abyss. 
and that is right there that word right there means sheep but it's in latin right there and then that number right there means slaughter so angel of the abyss sheep slaughter is it weird that you think that the vatican which is a serpent which is the angel of the abyss okay so y'all know that i showed you the angel of the abyss is it says satan apollyon satan so the angel of the abyss is satan so satan ovid sheep 19 slaughter same same sheep slaughter well let me show you something here is here is a snake a serpent wearing a crown see it so here's the same serpent wearing the crown with another serpent alongside of it see it that's audience hall and i'm going to go over this one more time look at the two serpents parthenogenesis okay but wait wait there's more see the mouth of the serpent on the inside of that building is a dead sheep because it's all a the whole world's been a long extended sheep slaughter from the beginning that's why the bible says my people are led to the slaughter all day long so because we're angels and we came into the serpent system and though the mouth of that serpent right there is the mouth of the serpent and those are all angels that are coming in but it's a big dead sheep to so see the dead sheep so the sheep is being slaughtered by who well again that window right there where the mouth of the serpent is that is the sheep so who is slaughtering the sheep the serpent who's the serpent the angel of the abyss don't you find that fascinating the six and nine correlation with the angel of the abyss right sheep slaughter don't you find that just phenomenal see in the heineken commercial six six nine anyway yeah no big deal and that that uh insect his reflection is human. That's a $20 piece from Canada. Okay. The next video that we're going to do is going to be on another platform. I'm going to leave you a link. If for any reason this video is not here, just go to the last video and I'll leave where to go. Okay. Uh, and if for any reason you couldn't ever find me, take down all these links right now. These are super important. If you go to the if you go to the folders, watch this. Here's all the links. Wait a minute. Okay, so there is the keys to the kingdom of heaven. This is a new website. We have Jonathan Cleck uncensored now because a lot of stuff's been getting censored. You can go to Jonathan Cleck uncensored. Uh, then there's uh, video archives, but you can go to these other platforms like uh, Brighteon right here and odyssey right here uh to the new channel on odyssey not the old one go to the new one on odyssey and uh you can go to any of these which are easy to find and all you got to do to find those is you go to show notes dot net this is the end right there and it'll bring up this page right here so th this this address right here you type that in and it brings up this page right here. And look, you go to Special Projects 2 right there. And it shows you all of Jonathan's videos can be found at these other venues. See it right here? Because the time has come. I've got, I've got to pull the lid off everything now. The time has come. I must pull the lid off everything. I must be able to speak freely. It's conclusive. It's a done deal. Guaranteed. And it, what I'm going to spend my night doing tonight is unlocking and showing you the craziest shit you've ever seen in your life. I'm just going to say it like that. Okay, I love you in Christ. <laughs> Buckle up. I love you guys. Guys, my, my heart is if I could fix everything for everybody in the world and give everybody what they needed, I would I would give my life to, to give you what you need. And I've laid down my life in 2002. I walked through a door knowing that I would, I would probably be killed by opening that door. I, I gave up my life that night and I literally was willing to give up everything in this world that I might gain what was on the other side of that door, which was the truth. And boy, have I gained it. And all I want to do is give it to you. And if I can give it to you, you can receive the greatest gift you've ever received in your life. I guarantee it, the truth. And the truth is the inversion of the world. And you'll see the truth. We have been held captive by another race of beings. It's a serpent race. It's female energy. And it locked up all the, all God's angels. 
in heaven there's neither male nor female there's neither greek nor jew neither male nor female let me tell you something it doesn't matter if you're a girl or if you're a boy that doesn't matter if you have male or female genitalia it's not about that it's about energies these energies that have been separated and there's two different energies within the host body system at war male and female energy and the female energy has cannibalized the male energy over the course of the entire world and that we've come to the the tipping point the the hourglass has run out there's no more it's it and so things are changing over and just like that commercial where she's sharpening her katana sword because they're getting ready to uh yeah um you know, in that nasty old, old bad old COVID thing right away. Yep. Okay. Love you guys. I'll see ya.